Hello and welcome to all my students. So today I am here to start with the discussion of the chapter Organism and Population in your very own batch NEET Selection Express. Here I am with so many questions which have been asked in some of the other previous NEET exams and you never know as I always say that these questions if you pay attention might come in this year NEET paper as well. And if you are listening to me carefully, maybe you can score plus 4 directly, yes or no. So let's start with today's discussion of the questions from the chapter Organism and Population. Here goes the first question. Now what is the first question beta? The first question says that which of the following is not an attribute of a population? So first of all you should know what is population. Group of individuals living in a occupying a specific area at a given time capable of interbreeding, right? The study of population is known as demography. Now, this population basically beta, it depends upon four attributes. There are four attributes of a population. So, the first attribute of a population is age. Pyramid. Second is sex ratio. Third is birth rate. And fourth is death rate. Right? So these are the four. These are the four, these are the four attributes of a population and uh, according to the question if you see natality that is birth rate correct, mortality that is death rate correct, species interaction beta it is actually population interaction but it is not an attribute of a population sex ratio correct. So according to the option answer will become 3. Hope you all have understood this first question. If yes, then we are going to proceed towards the next question. The next question says, match the items in column 1 with column 2. Now, column 1 is first herbivore and plant. So, basically, if there is a grass and there is a rabbit. So, rabbit is going to feed on the grass. Rabbit is a herbivore organism, plants are autotroph. So, this eating habit is known as predation. So, herbivore and plants show predation. So, you can match 1 with Three. Mycorrhizal association means association between the algae, sorry, between the fungi and the roots of higher plants. So, what is mycorrhiza? It is basically the association of fungi and Roots of higher plants. Correct? Yes or no? Where fungi gets the shelter and the prepared food, whereas plant gets the absorbed nutrients. They both are showing mutualistic association, symbiotic association. That means both require the presence of each other. If one gets extinct, the other will automatically get extinct. So you can match mycorrhiza with mutualism, two with three. Sheep and cattle. Sheep and cattle, beta, it's kind of a competition. Why? Because cattle are also herbivore and sheep are also herbivore. So they will compete with each other for the same resources, which is plant. And last is orchid and tree. Orchids are the epiphytes, which grows on the branches of the tree, like mango. So orchid is basically epiphyte so you can match 4 with 1 now all the matching is done just select the correct answer according to the matching that you have done beta 1 with 3 2 with 2 this is 2 beta just make it correction this is a printing mistake 3 with 4 and 4 with 1 so over here the answer of the question becomes 1 itself got everyone any confusion no Chalo, let's proceed further with the next. The impact of immigration 
on the population density is so now beta immigration means moving inside a population like for example you are living in india and tomorrow you move to canada so you are actually emigrant of india and immigrant of canada because you are leaving india so you are emigrant you are decreasing the population of india but you are moving to canada so there you are the immigrant immigrant means you are adding on their population so suppose these are two population densities these are the two different area here there are 15 people here there are 10 people now suppose one person moves from this place to this place so for the place where it is going this is known as immigration but if he's showing immigration that means from somewhere he is coming out if it is coming out then that is known as emigration now if this fellow is immigrating if he's at if he's coming to a new population he's adding the population that means he's increasing but due to this increase somewhere he's decreasing also now so immigration on the population density can have both a positive and a negative impact positive with respect to the area where he is going negative with respect to the area from where he is coming got my point so the answer will become one it will have both positive and negative impact depending upon ki bhai with respect to what you are talking about but in short if i have to check that immigration is actually a plus effect only so let's change the answer and let's just keep it three because apart from immigration in fact birth rate they both are having positive impact on population negative impact is basically emigration and death rate correct chalo moving towards the next question match the column 1 with 2 the worst is saprophytes now who are saprophytes saprophytes like fungi they feed on dead and decaying organic matter parasites they live on the body of some other organism either inside or outside for extracting the host food and nutrition lichens and mycorrhiza they both are mutualistic association of algae fungi fungi and roots of higher plants respectively right so you can match first with decomposition of dead organic matter parasites living on plants or animals lichens symbiotic association of algae and fungi mycorrhiza symbiotic association of fungi with the roots of higher plants have you all got this point now will you mark the correct answer chalo so a with the two b with three a with the two b with three c with four and d with one so here your answer becomes four correct any confusion to anyone no chalo let's proceed to the next question next question says what is niche so beta basically there are two terms habitat and niche habitat means the place where you live niche means that in that specific habitat what are your functional activities for your own growth and development so whatever functional aspect whatever things you are performing in your given habitat that is considered as a niche two organisms can share the same habitat but they try to avoid sharing the same niche otherwise it will lead to competition correct got my point now let's check all the four options and let's try out to find out the right answer now beta the first statement says all the biological factors in the organism's environment no this is not niche the physical space where an organism live this is actually habitat not the niche so this is also wrong third the range of temperature that the organism needs to live no this is an abiotic factor and range of temperature is kind of an abiotic factor it has nothing to do with the niche last the functional role played by the organism where it lives so yes niche is the functional role of an organism where he lives 
So over here, the answer of the question will become 4. Correct? Got my point everyone? Chalo. Proceeding with the next question. The next question says, natality refers to. So basically, beta, natality also referred to as birth rate. It is basically one of the attribute of a population. So first point you will write is, it is an attribute attribute of population. Correct? It's an attribute of population that tells about the number of birth in a given area per unit year. Correct? So, what is birth, natality? Birth rate. What is death rate, beta? Death rate actually stands for mortality. Number of individual leaving the habitat is emigration. Last, the number of individual entering a habitat is immigration. Correct? Got my point everyone? So here according to the question, answer will become 2. Moving towards the next question. The next question says, which of the following plant shows a very close association with the species of moth where one, where none of the two can complete their life cycle in the absence of each other? So simply the question is with respect to mutualism. In mutualism, also called as symbiosis beta, both the organisms who are associated with each other, they absolutely need the, they absolutely have the requirement for each other and if one extinct, the other will automatically extinct due to the absence of the first one. Now here the question is with respect to a moth and now you have to select its partner, you have to select its mutualistic partner. Your options are hydrilla. Hydrilla has nothing to do with the moth. But a moth basically pollinates yucca, which is also called as amorphophallus. So yucca is a flower. It's a huge six feet tall flower. It is associated with this moth. How? Moth gets the safe place to lay eggs inside the flower. Safe place to lay eggs and whereas moth pollinates the yucca flower. So in the absence of yucca, moth will not have any place to lay egg, hence its population will fall and in the absence of the moth, who will pollinate the yucca flower? So basically they both are highly dependent on each other, they show mutualistic or symbiotic association. So over here, the answer becomes 2. Correct? Has everyone understood this simple question? Yes? Chalo, very good. Now, proceeding to the next question. The next question says, in a growing population of a country, growing means, beta, the pyramid has to be triangular, where the number of pre-reproductive individuals are maximum, then the number of reproductive, and then the member of post-reproductive. Correct? This is a growing population where the number of people who are below the age of reproduction, that means where number of children are more, that population is considered to be a growing one. Now, I have explained you, you just have to look into the options and select the right one. Now, first is pre-reproductive individuals are more than the reproductive. Correct? You can see it, it, uh, it with the help of a diagram. Second, Reproductive individuals are less than the pre-reproductive? No. Again, you can see, you can make out by yourself. Third, reproductive and pre-reproductive are equal? No. Fourth, pre-reproductive individuals are less than the reproductive? Again, this is wrong. 
so the answer of the question will become 1 over here yes or no have you all understood this question so the answer to this will become first now moving towards the next which of the following population interaction is widely used in medical science for the production of antibiotics beta this production of antibiotic uses one of the very common interaction population interaction which is called as amensalism it is basically a minus 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 or neutral interaction where one organism is at loss and another is neutral i would like to explain you with the help of an example you all know fungus penicillium notatum penicillium notatum secretes produces a chemical called penicillin which inhibits the growth of the bacteria staphylococcus so now staphylococcus is at loss in the presence of penicillium notatum but penicillium notatum is neutral it does not have any effect in the presence of staphylococcus so here comes the role of antibiotics so these funguses and different organisms are used to obtain chemical which inhibits the growth of other microbes so this amensalism is the association which we use according to the given question correct have you all understood this simple question yes or no shall ma'am proceed further chalo very good next question agla sawal kya kehta hai beta the next question says plants which produce characteristic pneumatophores and shows viviparity now what are pneumatophores see what happens beta there are certain plants which grow in saline soil where uh, water is too much in the soil because of which soil aeration decreases and thus the roots are not able to respire underground because there is no oxygen availability everywhere is water hypertonic solution of the soil so basically due to the absence of oxygen in the soil roots rather than growing downward some of the roots they turn vertically upward in order to absorb oxygen from the atmosphere such roots which grows roots which grows yes vertically upward in order to trap oxygen that means for respiration are known as pneumatophores they are known as pneumatophores and these are found in the plants like rhizophora which are halophytes halophytes means plants which grow in saline soil grow in correct yes or no like rhizophora now moving towards the next question the next question says mycorrhiza is an example of so you all know beta mycorrhiza is a symbiotic mutualistic 100% essential beneficial association between the fungi and the roots of higher plants what happens beta the roots of higher plants they are woolly they are not able to trap water and mineral so fungi enters inside the root and they absorb water mineral in return they get the food and shelter so this association between yes fungi and roots of higher plants so now what fungi is doing beta fungi is basically getting the shelter and food right and apart from this roots of higher plants are getting absorbed water and mineral as their roots are themselves weak so this type of association is known as mutualism also called as symbiosis i hope you all have understood this question moving towards the other 
asymptote means no further growth constant when the graph becomes constant that situation is asymptote no further growth so no further growth means dn upon dt should be equivalent to zero at asymptote situation now in logistic growth curve what is the equation dn upon dt is equal to rn k minus n upon k this is the simple equation of logistic growth curve right now imagine if k value becomes equal to n then what will happen k minus n will become zero anything multiplied by zero will become zero and zero is asymptote this is asymptote that means no further growth got my point everyone will you all remember this for long very good next question in a hypothetical population of 100 individuals the r value the growth rate is 0.5 per female per year what will be the population size in six years where e log base value is 2.72 showing exponential rate of the growth so if all the data is given you just have to apply it in the formula and the formula for exponential growth rate is nt is equals to n naught e key power rt now question is asking you nt after six years so initial population is 100 base is your 2.72 key power what is r 0.5 and how much time is given six years so just have to multiply this so what will become now 2.72 0.5 into 6 is 3 and if you solve this equation answer will become 2012 so here comes your answer which is fourth you just you don't have to do anything you have to apply the formula use the data calculate the answer correct Chalo bhai. Aage chalte hai. let's move towards the next question the principle of competitive exclusion was stated by so who gave this competition exclusion according to this competition exclusion beta no two species can flourish in the same area if they are competing for same resources and if you keep them together then the superior species will survive and the weaker one will get eliminated this was explained by scientist Gauss Verhulst and Pearl gave the logistic growth curve Arthur, he explained the survival. He explained that how competitively, uh, competitive species can live together by changing their uh, habitat, by, by changing their niche, by changing their functional activities. So, MacArthur basically explained competition release. Oh, sorry. He basically explained competition coexistence. Darwin so explained survival of the fittest. Correct? Yes. Chalo. Moving towards the next question. The next question says if plus sign is assigned to beneficial interaction and minus to negative. Okay. And zero to detrimental. Then the population interaction plus minus. Plus minus means one plus another minus. One benefit another loss. Commensalism is beta plus zero, parasitism is plus minus, mutualism is plus plus, amensalism is minus zero. So according to your question, answer becomes two. Yes or no? Have you all understood this question? Anyone having any doubts over here? No. Shall ma'am proceed further? Okay, very good. So, here comes the next question. If it is much easier for smaller animal to climb upward as compared to the animal whose size is heavy. Why so? Why a smaller animal is able to climb upward and why the heavier animal feels more of panting? It's simply like a person who is thin can climb the stair very fast, very fast. But person who is heavy he takes or he or she takes time and very soon they get tired and they need to drink water and again they will start yes or no why it's all depending upon the bmr of the body 
yes the person who is lean the person who is thin has high basal metabolic rate due to high bmr there will be more respiration there will be more breakdown of glucose if there is more breakdown of glucose more energy will be produced and if more energy is produced then automatically beta definitely the animal will have more energy to climb if suppose i have more atp then i'll do work even in a in a better manner if suppose my body is lacking energy if i don't have glucose if i don't have atp i'll feel lethargic so same thing happens with the person who is thick and the person who is thin a thick person is having low bmr low respiration late rate low glucose breakdown low atp production ab jab atp hai hi nahi to bhai wo banda kaise daudega he won't run his body will be more lethargic as compared to a person who is lean enough correct yes or no so it is easier to carry a small body weight small animals have a larger met higher metabolic rate so here the answer becomes to it's all dependent upon your bmr more bmr more glucose breakdown more atp body is more active heavy body less bmr less glucose breakdown less atp production body is more lethargic correct chalo now moving towards the next question when does the growth rate of a population following the logistic model equals to zero right now only i told you this will become at this question is just repeated only the words are changed the last question last to last question and this question they are same only the statement has been changed and uh, accordingly you have to decide the answer the question is simply asking for asymptote situation their question is saying when dn upon dt will be zero it will only happen when the k value becomes equal to n so when k n by k is exactly 1 when n nears the carrying capacity so n is the population density and k is the carrying capacity right so answer becomes when n nears the carrying capacity of the habitat right uh, or n by k sorry sorry when n by k will become exactly 1 so that this is actually n by k is exactly 1 means see n is equal to k means what if you bring k down then it will be 1 now so it's actually saying the same thing correct when k is equal to n which you can also write as n by k is equal to 1 yes or no everyone got my point chalo very good now proceeding towards the next question gauss principle of competition exclusion states that now i already explained you what does competitive competition exclusion wants to say that if there are two species competing for the same resource then the superior one will survive whereas the inferior one will get eliminated read the four options check out the right answer the first more abundant species will exclude the less abundant species through competition okay second statement competition for the same resource exclude species having different food preferences third no two species can occupy the same niche indefinitely for the same limiting resource so here answer becomes 3 by those species jo same resource same niche means same functions same niche function they cannot survive in the same area they cannot have the same function if they are fighting if they want the same resource so as i already told you that niche cannot be same for two different species occupying the same habitat otherwise it will lead to competition competition exclusion correct yes or no chalo next question most animals are tree dwellers in you just remember this theory it's tropical rain forest so tropical rain forest mein there are more tree dwellers tree dwellers means arboreals 
arboreals correct next question in which of the following interaction both the partners are adversely affected means minus minus interaction in predation beta it is plus minus one is positive another is at negative one is at benefit another is at loss parasitism same as predation one is at benefit another is at loss parasite benefit host loss mutualism plus plus both are equally benefited like lichens and mycorrhiza but when it comes to competition both the species are equally adversely affected so competition is the only population interaction where both the species are getting harmed right next question just as a person moving from delhi to shimla to escape the heat for the duration of hot summer thousands of migratory birds from siberia and other extremely cold northern region move to this is an example of migration they visit bharatpur sanctuary in rajasthan also called as kyolardo national park this is situated this is situated in rajasthan also known as bharatpur sanctuary so simply you have to remember this data this is theoretical question you all should know this agla sawal which of the following are likely to be present in deep sea water now deep sea water means extreme environmental conditions no light uh, and uh, you know uh, the, maybe the weather conditions are not good deep sea water it's like extreme habitat correct so now if you read the following options which of the following will survive in this situation yes so the answer of the question will become archaea bacteria beta because archaea bacteria are known to survive in extreme environmental conditions so here answer will become 2 moving towards the next question a biologist studied that the population of rats in a barn he found that the average natality was 250 natality means birth rate mortality means death rate immigration means 20 and emigration is 30 now a bio okay so now you have to find the net increase in the population so simple formula is beta population at time t is equal to n plus that is the initial population b plus i minus d plus e so nt is equals to n not plus b plus i kitna hua 250 plus 20 that is 270 minus d plus e 240 plus 30 is again 270 so it's almost net change means nt minus n not is equal to 0 so answer of the question will become 1 correct next question a sedentary sea anemone gets attached to the shell lining of hermit crab this association is commensalism why because hermit sea anemone is neutral but hermit crab is at benefit which gets associated with the sea anemone and it gets protected from its predator due to the presence of the tentacles of sea anemone so this is kind of commensalism next question the rate of formation of new organic matter by rabbit in a grassland now rabbits are primary herbivore primary herbivore primary consumer if they produce the biomass that is known as secondary productivity correct so the answer of the question number 25 will become 2 next question cascuta cascuta is an insectivorous plant beta it is an insectivorous plant and this is a best example of ectoparasitism so here the answer will become 1 next question Consider the following statements, and you have to select the right one first. Bear go to sleep. 
winter sleep is hibernation so one will become hibernation okay two in cold weather to escape cold weather so two will become escape a conical age pyramid with a broad base represent expanding means growing population fourth a vast pollinating of fig flower is an example of mutualism correct so now fourth is basically beta mutualism but now we have to check the fifth one an area with high level of end species richness is known as hot spot these are endemic to certain places so the answer of the question will become to i have told you all the terms i hope you all have understood all the questions so thank you for listening to me thank you for watching see you in the next lecture till then bye bye everyone take care keep studying keep working hard